Hello coaches! In this episode of Coach Better Spotlight, we're talking about the importance of coaches taking the time to visit classrooms while students are learning, especially in content-heavy subject areas like science. Our guest, Marilyn Winslade, IB Diploma Chemistry and Middle School Science teacher at NIST International School in Thailand, shares how valuable it would be for her, particularly in the higher level sciences, to have a coach observe in her classroom to help her identify opportunities for innovative learning by seeing exactly what's happening during her lessons. If you enjoy any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more conversations like this, please subscribe to our channel and click the notifications bell to find out every time we release a new episode. Remember, you can also listen to the full Coach Better episode wherever you get your podcasts. We are passionate about the impact coaching can have on student learning, school culture, and teacher professional growth, and we want to help you coach better. We've got some great opportunities for more learning after today's conversation, so stick around all the way to the end. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better. Today, Clint and I are here with Marilyn Winslade, and I'm going to ask Marilyn to please introduce yourself and your teaching history. Hi, I'm Marilyn Winslade, and I've been teaching on and off for about 15 years. I started teaching in Australia in a private school there, and then I moved to the international system, and I've been teaching the IB and MYP for about 10 years about the various experiences that you've had with coaches as a classroom teacher, as a very uh, science-focused, subject-specific classroom teacher, what are some good opportunities for coaches to work with you? Like, how would you like to see them working with you? Um, I'd like to see them appear more in my classroom every now and then, to not just, not just to observe or whatever, but actually to get in there and get a little bit more um, hands-on with the and understand the problems that I have with the students in the context of science education I would like to see that happen um, a bit more I know that there's a lot of time restraints and things like that but I think that would help a lot so are you thinking more of like a co-teaching model where he or she comes in and is potentially taking part of the lesson while you're supporting students and potentially supporting students while you're taking part of the lesson or what so do you, how do you envision that? A, a combination. So sometimes when I'm doing something that is, I mean, my middle school classes are quite large. Actually, my DP classes are quite large. And so if I'm doing something that needs a bit more of support because you have kids that are, you know, whiz bang and, also, squirrel, then um, it would be nice. It would be great for them to be able to come in and support and troubleshoot some of those, those um, problems that come up. But also, I would like them to be able to see firsthand what kind of things that I'm trying to achieve mm. in the class so that they might have ideas, that, questions that I hadn't thought to ask, you know? So it, when I go to a meeting with um, uh, a coach and I have a, my questions all thought of and things that I kind of want to do, I might not have thought about the things I don't know, I don't know. So I, I don't know that I don't know them. So I would love it if the coach could sometimes be in the classroom and maybe they would see things from a completely different perspective to me and come up with... you. Have you ever thought about doing this instead of this activity? Or have you ever thought of using this instead of this? I think this would be more effective. Because if I don't know it, I don't know it. But I think mm -hmm. unless they're in the classroom on occasion, then they might not, I might not convey very well in a meeting. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And when you're talking about coaches, um, you know, a lot of times Kim and I were talking about sort of technology coaches yeah. or digital literacy coaches or whatever they're, they're called in your school. Um, 
are there other coaching realms that you work within, whether it's numeracy or literacy or student supports or anything like that? Or are you thinking specifically about educational technology? I'm thinking about educational technology. I have other support for um, um, for other issues, literacy, etc. But sometimes those kind of things overlap as well, you know? Yeah, I mean, I definitely. <laughs> I'm just curious, and I don't want to, like, get too far down the path of science, but in terms of science, what are the kinds of things that, you think, and I know you don't know what you don't know, so I'm not trying to ask you to like analyze that, but like, what are the kinds of things that maybe you are feeling like you're struggling with or you're like, man, if I just had a coach in here to watch this lesson, I know they'd come up with these different ideas. <clears throat> like, are there any things at the forefront of your mind as a science teacher that you're like, oh, you know, if I went and talked to my coach tomorrow and asked him to come in to watch a lesson, it would be this one because of this, something along those lines. I want to try and make my chemistry teaching my the community in the classroom works very well and at YS I had a really good project that I set up with the help with the coaches for a Google Plus community so that worked really well within the class it never really branched outside of the classroom walls at NIST what I want to do is try and make that go a little bit further and so that I can get I can draw in I mean DP chemistry is a there's a lot of people studying it and there's a lot of people teaching it and there's a lot of people interested in it it would be great to be able to try and reach out to that and also you know be able to draw that in at the same time so that's kind of the next level that I want to get to um, and I've talked to my coach at NIST about that and we're working on a few ideas, but I'd love him to be able to come in and see how it kind of works as it is now. How can I move that out? Mm. Very cool. Awesome. I think so, that's a really great like goal, and I think that's something that can develop over time. And as long as you have that support of that coach to kind of come in repeatedly and see how things are growing, I think... There's so much opportunity there because you're right. So many teachers are teaching it. So many students are learning it. And as we know, the content is the same because they all take the same exam. Exactly right. It's all, everyone has the same problems. Everybody has the same um, issues. Let's all, why are we all reinventing the wheel? Let's try and yeah. build a bit more so we can learn a bit easier from each other. Cool. If you've enjoyed any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more great conversations about coaching with inspiring educators from around the world, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notifications bell to find out every time we release a new episode. To hear the full-length conversation, subscribe to the Coach Better Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And if you're looking for even more resources to help you coach better, head over to adurolearning.com slash coach better to explore over 20 online courses designed by coaches for coaches. Catch us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Aduro Learning to connect with us. See you next week on Coach Better Spotlight.